What the heck is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Bucky Roberts and welcome to your very first tutorial in Git. G-I-T. Now in this little video series what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be teaching you guys how to download, install Git, and also how to use it from beginner to expert. However, before I do that I want to mention this. Whenever you're watching this video make sure to watch it in 1080 high def and also full screen. I'm going to be recording my entire computer screen so if you try to watch this video in that little YouTube player it's probably going to be pretty difficult to see what's going on so again 1080 full screen once you change those settings then well just kick up your feet relax and uh, enjoy the show so my guess is that most of you guys watching this video probably already have a good understanding of exactly what git is um, you probably already know exactly what it does however for those of you guys who maybe just heard your friends talking about it or maybe saw you know a quick little story about it on online somewhere let me go ahead and explain to you guys exactly what Git is and what you can use it for so this is just notepad right here this is just a random text editor but it's gonna you know help me demonstrate what it is so Git is pretty much a program that lets you keep track of changes in files alright well that sounds like the dumbest program ever why would we even want to learn that well let me give you guys a really basic example of what it can do so say that you're uh, typing a word document for school and you're like okay this is my essay um you know it's done so you go okay file save as you know this looks pretty freaking cool so I'm gonna save this is a uh, final essay dot text. All right, ready to hand this in? Oh, crap! Oh, well, look at this. I forgot the apostrophe in it. There we go. Okay, so file save as. Uh, let's see, final. Let's just put final essay two. Okay, so okay, save that. Okay, ready? Oh, OMG, look at this. I forgot to capitalize the okay, Ermagerd. All right, so file save as, okay, so definitely yada, 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 final essay two. Okay, so we keep doing that over and over again, and I know that everyone has, has done it. And check this out. We now have a bunch of oddly named final, and I'm doing the quotes thing with my hands even even though I just realized that you guys cannot see that but that's basically what this program is it lets you manage all of these versions of the same exact file it just does it a lot better than you did or at least that I just did a couple cool features about it is that if you ever want to go back to the original one or maybe just uh, when you changed it right here it lets you do that incredibly easy and you don't have to keep renaming stuff definitely final essay too and without you know talking to you guys about the history of git or all the intricacies of how it works um it's really a really awesome program for keeping track of changes in files and other than that this is where most of you guys are going to get excited it's one of the best programs for managing source code because I know a lot of you guys have written source code before and you needed either to undo something that you, uh, you know maybe it was a bug you tried to fix and you needed to go back well it's perfect for managing source code so I could probably talk to you guys about the history of Git and exactly how uh, programs like this work but instead what I decided to do is I'm just gonna go ahead and download Git and then show you guys along the way and explain it that way because it's a lot easier to understand it if we actually have the program up and running. So let's go ahead and let me show you guys how to download this. And by the way, if you guys are like, all right, I don't even, uh, I'm not a programmer, I don't work with source code at all, um, so why would I even need this? Well, I just showed you guys on a text file and I also mentioned source code, but you can actually use this with any file and I'm talking about Word documents, uh, Photoshop files, text files, Microsoft document files. It's just that programmers and those working with source code use it the most often but anyone can use it so you know if you're not a programmer watch these tutorials anyways you'll thank me. Alright so in order to download it of course go to Google and just type in download git and press enter 
and right now the download you know anytime you download something the download page changes like every five seconds but right now it's at this website git slash scm dot com slash downloads now I'm on this page and right now it automatically detected detected that I have Windows but I'm gonna go ahead and click Windows right now and as you can see it automatically starts downloading so again obviously I'm running Windows right now and uh, if you guys have a Mac or anything else then um, my guess is that the process is kind of the same but anyways this is how you download it for Windows so once we downloaded it and you can actually close out of Google right now go to wherever your downloads are mine are Bucky downloads all it did is it downloaded an executable file and this is really easy but you know if you guys ran into any trouble then you can follow along but if you ever downloaded anything before then it's gonna be pretty easy to follow along so double click this right here and do we want to give it permission yada 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 of course we'll allow it yes and this thing is annoying me close out of that alright so now we got really simple wizard and we're actually going to keep all of the defaults so next next and actually you might want to take note of wherever it's in song next alright looks good next next and make sure you use git from git bash only in when we're done with this you guys are gonna see exactly what git bash is it's very cool but make sure you have that option selected next next and let it do its thing do 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 okay I apparently need a faster uh, processor and a faster hard drive man could have told you guys a story in this time all right so once that thing is done then well yeah let's go ahead and look at the release notes why the F not finish and uh, it's probably gonna put it up in some stupid program I should have not clicked that I'm regretting that already why did I even open that that was a waste of time I don't even care what that is all right so basically it downloaded apparently but I don't see any change except those stupid release notes so what I'm gonna do is go to all programs and I'm gonna scroll down here and boom check this out we now have a folder called git so if you double click this or just click it once you're gonna see git bash and git GUI alright well I don't want to get GUI because I just took a shower but I'm alright so <laughs> right click get bash and guys those corny jokes they're gonna be coming all tutorial series long so get ready for it and just go ahead and put a shortcut on your desktop since I'm gonna be using it a lot and now if you double click get bash you can see that it's basically like a command line for Windows except this is actually Unix style and if you guys don't know any Unix commands then uh, don't worry um, I don't assume that you do I'm gonna be teaching you guys everything that you need to know from the ground up in learning git so let's just go ahead and before you know I cut the tutorial off let's just test something out and this is a really simple command if you type git git dash dash version and press enter then it's just gonna tell you your version and actually kinda the command whenever you type it it kinda sounds like what you wanna do like get the version of my git get dash dash version alright so that's one command but, uh, but guys trust me there is more that we can do with this program than just type that one command of course so in the next tutorial I'm gonna be showing you guys how to configure git and then we're gonna be getting into the awesome stuff so for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next video